Welcome to the 10th annual WeGo Health Awards. WeGo Health Awards were born 10 years ago to recognize the patient leaders who often go unrecognized, the folks who lead communities every day, support, education, and love. We heard from our communities that these folks needed a way to be celebrated, and we're glad to be here with them. 10 years ago, I remember when we would tell a nominee for the WeGo Health Awards that they've been nominated, they would say, I'm a patient leader, I'm a, I'm a nominee. What do you mean? I'm just online doing what I love to do and helping people. Now they're online changing healthcare every day and changing the world together. Jack, what you and the entire WeGo Health team have been able to accomplish with the WeGo Health Award for the past 10 years is just simply remarkable. The evolution of the categories, the impact that people have had on advocacy work and just this year introduction of the best in show TikTok is just a remarkable evolution of where everything has been going. It is exciting. And, and the thing that's kept it together is a mission that we share, Olivier, that commitment to patients, to people at the center of everything we do. And now when we look at the fact that we have 21,000 nominees for 16 awards that are that have to be boiled down to 96 finalists who will all be we'll hear, learn more about today. It's impossible to, for the judges to do that job. I'm glad I don't have to do it, but it really shows the growth in this industry and how exciting and changing it is. Yeah, and these winners uh, are going to be celebrated uh, and recognized throughout the entire year. Quite frankly, uh, everybody is a winner in my opinion, but these winners specifically will be recognized. They will also be offer a chance to come if they wish to participate in person at this great health conference. But part of that change that patient leaders have been driving is industry has evolved, right? The healthcare industry has begun to embrace patients as working side by side with them. So this year, I'm excited to say we're adding six industry categories so we can recognize the collaborators, the trailblazers, the folks who have stepped up from the healthcare industry to show us that they can work with patients side by side. I'm excited to see those new categories and those winners this year. It's also just a proud moment to see both industry and um, winners of these awards brought together. Uh, we are just getting closer to having greater impact. Um, and it's just a really exciting time. It is exciting, right? I mean, social health is this transformational idea that we have almost infinite digital opportunities to communicate now that patients and, and healthcare professionals and the healthcare industry can communicate real time in any way they want to. And we're here to celebrate that movement and that moment and this point in time. So I'm excited to say, we'll see the winners who embody that change and that excitement in this presentation. So let the celebration begin. The winner of the Best in Show Twitter Award is... Hi, I'm Michelle, and I empower my online community via Twitter by sharing with them tweets from advocates that show them great coping techniques and that they'll relate to to show them that they are not alone. The winner of the Best in Show YouTube Award is... 
Hello, I am Footless Show, and I empower my online patient community by sharing my own story with vulnerability of chronic illness, amputation, and disability, and inviting others to do the same. I love being able to share the funny moments, the things you may never have thought of, but also the really hard days and the moments when it's difficult in hopes to let others know that they are never alone and there will always be a community here for them. The winner of the Best in Show TikTok Award is... I advocate for my online patient community by raising awareness on platforms such as TikTok and Instagram and showing the world that people with chronic illnesses are just human beings like everyone else. And by showing those in similar journeys that being different or feeling different is what makes us stand out amongst the crowd and allows us to be our true unique selves and show the world what we have to offer. The winner of the Best in Show Podcast Award is... I empower my online patient community by giving them a voice. Through sharing our stories, we find strength in knowing that we are not alone. Having open conversations about our shared experiences can bring light and clarity to those of us who most desperately need it. There's power in sharing your story, both for the storyteller and for the listener who might be searching for that lifeline that we all need at some point in our rare disease journey. The winner of the Best in Show Instagram Award is... Being part of the WeGo Health Awards is more than just the acknowledgement or the accolades. It's about creating lasting and impactful change. And I've empowered my community by using my social media on Instagram, by providing educational resources and ways that anyone can advocate for themselves on food allergies and asthma. After what happened to my son on November 3rd, I couldn't let this happen again. So I figure out a way that we all can just work better together. The winner of the Best in Show Facebook Award is... One of the ways I empower my online patient community is by using Facebook to stimulate conversations on the realities of arthritis and autoimmune disease. Um, my audience know that everything I get from me is completely unfiltered. I celebrate the good and the bad side of living with chronic illness. 
And what that allows us to do is give a voice to those people that previously were suffering in silence and felt unrepresented, but it also allows us to educate and start conversations, open the floor to questions for everybody else around them. Over the last few years, we've seen the pharmaceutical and healthcare industry embrace social media more than ever before. Realizing that there are patient communities on social media seeking support and answers, developing an authentic and authoritative voice to reach these communities has become imperative. Not only have brands started working with patients to uncover how to best serve these communities via social media, but they've also formed partnerships that give the patient voice an elevated platform to share their stories across a broader audience. The industry showstoppers on social media are those who are reaching patients where they are in meaningful moments and engaging them with the tools and information that they need to help them along their patient journey. On behalf of Patients Everywhere, thank you for putting us first and for meeting us when and where it matters the most. The winner of the best use of social media to engage patients is. We are so honored that the Why Tattoo campaign was selected by patients for the best use of social media award. Our objective was to give visibility to the invisible fight against lupus using the butterfly, a symbol of hope for the community. We provided temporary butterfly tattoos and a digital filter for patients and loved ones to snap a picture and share it on social media. We collaborated with patient leaders to create authentic campaigns for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and for the first time, TikTok, which generated 2.7 million views of the hashtag. Thank you to everyone who participated to show people living with lupus that they have an entire community of support. The winner of the Best in Show blog is... I empower my online patient community by writing and sharing my blog. I like to talk about my life with MS and I like to try to be as brutally honest as possible. That way folks know that somebody out there understands what they're going through. They've also been through it. That person's me.
The winner of the Best in Show Community Award is... I empower my community by sharing information, inspiration, and motivation for living your best life with multiple sclerosis across all of my social channels, my blog, my newsletter, and my podcast. Sharing life and the difficulties of living it with chronic illness lightens the burden for us all. I want my community to feel seen, heard, supported. The winner of the Best Kept Secret Award is... Hi, my name is Samira and I'm the founder and executive director of the Samira Foundation. I empower my online patient community by providing them with a platform to share their stories, whether they're patients, caregivers, clinicians, researchers, all of our stories and all of our voices matter. And together we are illuminating the darkness of neuromyelitis optica. The winner of the Hilarious Patient Leader Award is... I empower my online patient community by being out here. Whether I'm on patient advisory boards for pharma so that they understand our needs better, or by being on someone else in the community's podcast about their MS journey, or by making dope music videos with pharma about how we support each other. I empower my online patient community by being someone that folks with multiple sclerosis recognize, love to laugh and learn with, and helps them feel seen, heard and understood because ain't you here me the first time i'm out here son The winner of the Best Team Performance Award is... Cancer Kids First empowers our online patient community through virtual movie nights and a variety of educational but fun events, all of which are aimed to showcase the reality of childhood cancer. The evolution in digital and social health has been invaluable for building communities and fostering peer-to-peer -peer support. And today, the health industry has more power than ever to reach and elevate these thriving patient communities. By helping patients digitally access care, support, and resources, patients can now go beyond the peer-to-peer -peer dialogues and include the health industry in these conversations. The industry categories within this cultivating community group highlight how organizations are successfully reaching patient communities and supporting them in new, authentic, and innovative ways.
the winner of the Best Digital Patient Engagement Program is. Please join me in congratulating Achille Interactive as this year's winner of the Best Digital Patient Engagement Program Legal Health Award. Achille Interactive is truly a pioneer in the digital medicine space with the first and only FDA cleared prescription treatment delivered through a video game. Achille believes effective medicine for serious illnesses can also be fun and engaging. They're creating a new class of digital medicines for people living with cognitive impairments that are delivered through captivating video game experiences. What an incredible concept and product. Congratulations, Achille Interactive. The winner of the most authentic use of patients in a marketing campaign is... I am Caitlin Lormel, Senior Manager of Product Communications at Janssen Neuroscience, and I am humbled to accept the Health 2021 award for most authentic use of patients in a marketing campaign for our Morta MS campaign. Morta MS really empowers people to live well with multiple sclerosis and provides holistic tips and resources around living a healthy lifestyle and, importantly, advocating for your health. The campaign champions diverse real life experiences of MS warriors and their care partners and sees stories that inspire us each and every day. It's why we do what we do. Um, we're committed to continuing to support patients and foster these safe spaces for them to feel seen and heard. To learn more, visit moretoms.com. And thank you again for this incredible recognition. The winner of the most valuable patient support or access program is. Thanks so much to WeGo for giving us the most valuable patient support or access program award. Antidote is thrilled and honored that our clinical trial matching engine, Antidote Match, has been recognized by the people that matter the most, patients. Since the start of the pandemic, patients have been more interested than ever in research opportunities and clinical trials. On the other end, researchers are looking for patients to fill their studies. Antidote Match allows patients to connect with research, learn more about health, and also connect with researchers in general. In this way, Antidote Match has allowed patients to own this aspect of their healthcare in a way that they've never been able to before. We're so thrilled and honored that WeGo Health give us this award, and I'm so thrilled and honored to be able to work for an organization that has such an inspiring mission. Thank you, WeGo Health. The winner of the Rookie of the Year Award is... Creating a space where individuals feel safe to discuss their experiences with mental health and mental disorders is important to me. That's why I helped found We Matter Too, Inc. And with the board, we use our social media platforms to connect, 
converse, and share resources to help our friends and followers feel less alone. We create safe spaces that encourage growth and help to end the stigma. The winner of the Advocating for Another Award is... I empower my community by sharing 60 seconds of our journey living with a rare illness. I do this weekly on our podcast. I empower my community by offering educational resources both online and in person, by offering comfort care solutions to families living with medical complexities, and by providing financial support to assist families facing economic hardship due to Edwards Syndrome. As you've seen demonstrated from these awards, the patient journey is no longer linear. It's a dynamic and complex ricocheting of information, connection, support, and inspiration. We're so proud to see the dedication that the industry has made to meeting patients where they are in the moments that matter most. The industry categories within the journey of a patient leader group honor individuals who have gone above and beyond working tirelessly to improve the healthcare experience and the path to care for patients. The winner of the Patient Truth Industry Hero Award is. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Jennifer Arnold as this year's winner of the Patient Truth Industry Hero WeGo Health Award. You may recognize Dr. Arnold from TLC's The Little Couple, but she is so much more than a television personality. Dr. Arnold is a board certified neonatologist and currently the medical director of the Simulation Center at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Dr. Arnold, your dedication not only to treating patients, but also advocating for them as a patient yourself, makes you the definition of a hero working in healthcare to make it a better place for everyone. Congratulations, Dr. Arnold. The winner of the Healthcare Collaborator Award is. Online Leukemia Patient Community through knowledge and hope via online support groups. An example of how I do this is by engaging patients on Facebook and live interviews. Patient stories are powerful in helping others learn that they're not alone in their journeys and that we're all part of a community and in this together. By engaging with other patients, though, I observe something out there, and that is a healthcare disparity for a very vital force in our community, and that's women patients. Kicking cancer in heels is something I am building, and it's a safe and inclusive community in helping change this conversation. Women leukemia patients are now embraced and engaging on Zoom virtual support group meetings like our CLL Women Strong groups. 
They're empowered through my collaborations on Facebook and Instagram live interviews with top specialists and inspiring patients on key topics. From things like all about clinical trials to juggling family, work, and leukemia, and to handling how to live life during COVID as a severely immunocompromised patient. Thank you. The winner of the Champion for Patient Collaboration Award is... Hello, my name is Vanita Sharma and I'm the Executive Director of Patient Advocacy and Public Policy at Strongbridge Biopharma. It is my honor to accept this year's Champion for Patient Collaboration WeGo Health Award. I'm inspired by the patients I work with and bringing both their journey and voice that might not otherwise be heard to the forefront. It has been my privilege to champion these patients through the many initiatives I have led to raise awareness and support for medical conditions with unmet medical need, especially the rare disease space. Thank you again for this great and humbling honor. The winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award is... I empower my online patient community by talking to them as a patient, in patient speak, and as someone who's being diagnosed, treated, and lived with the disease for some time. Um, where applicable, I'll always attach uh, expert knowledge for those who want more. Um, and I don't just talk about the clinical aspects of neuroendocrine cancer. I also talk about how to live better, how to cope better, with the physical and mental challenges because for many people this is a long-term condition. The winner of the Patient Leader Hero Award is... As a vocal code cancer survivor in my 24th year, I am empowering global community through one-to-one -one counseling and my online and offline talk shows using Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube platform. I'm also slipping Facebook Live e at Cities.
What an absolutely incredible night of inspiration, passion, and change. I can't ever get through these ceremonies without tears, and tonight on our 10th annual celebration, it was no exception. It's more evident than ever just how impactful patient communities are and how true patient leader collaboration has the power to change the patient experience. I've had the pleasure of being involved with the Wego Health Awards program for the last six cycles, and it's absolutely amazing to see how the program has grown each and every year. I am so thankful for the network, for the work that you do, so that we're able to honor your accomplishments. And I'm incredibly grateful to the internal Wego Health Health Union team who executes this each year. Let me tell you, it is truly a labor of love. To those tuning in tonight, thank you for helping us celebrate these incredible patient leaders. Please, please, please don't let this moment pass without congratulating these top online leaders and giving them a like or follow on their social handles. We're linking their handles in the comments below now. A special thanks to our sponsors, HealthSpark and Outcomes for Me, and to our partner, Health, for recognizing the importance of patient leaders and ensuring they have a seat at the table. To all of our nominees and finalists, we are so honored to recognize your impact, and we hope that you're proud of your achievements. We are so, 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 so incredibly proud of you. And of course, to our 10th annual Wego Health Award winners, congratulations! We can't wait to celebrate with you at the health event next month in Boston. So stay tuned for more information from the WeGo team. It's been 10 years, but we are just getting started and I cannot wait to see what the next 10 years have in store for us. Thank you all for tuning in and have a great night.